Hello, hello, it's Fippy27, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an item lock. This machine is compact and easy to build. You can decide any stackable item you want and uh, make that as the key. Then you can use that, and using a hopper minecart, it will take any item through a full block, so you can completely hide it under any terrain. And when you throw it down, it will cycle through, and if it is the correct item, give it back to you and activate your redstone machine. I will be showing you how to build this and set it up, uh, but first, a word from our sponsor. And welcome to today's show. This just in, we have gotten our hands on a terribly confusing graph. What does it mean? Oh, right, right, right. Stay on script. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and want to see more like it. Now that that's done, uh, you can hook this machine up to any redstone contraption that you want. As you can see here, I hooked it up to a redstone piston door. Um, because this machine gives off such a short pulse um, from this redstone right here, I hooked it up to a pulse extender, which consists of two comparators going that way and two comparators the other way and then powering a redstone torch, inverting the sing signal to keep these doors open. And it works just fine. So the actual mechanism consists of two main parts. What happens is first you throw in the item and it gets sucked through the block into the hopper minecart and put into this hopper. Now, if it's not the correct item, it will go straight into this chest. So you can collect everything that was false uh, but if it is correct, before it can go in that chest, it will fall right down to here into this item sorter. This blue wool is the first item sorter. It is overflow, um, like protective. So if for some reason there gets to be a ton of items in there, your machine will not break. Then your key makes its way into the dispenser. And when it has an item in it, this comparator will detect that and create a clock firing out all items stuck in there. Um, if you want to hook up a redstone system to this, which you probably will want to, um, you can take it from this redstone dust right here. Now let's look at the items you will need to build this. So it's pretty simple. We don't have too much here. Feel free to pause the video. Um, the only thing to comment on is that you don't need an anvil, but it's recommended so that you can name both the key you will be using and the filler item to go in the hopper system. Now we are ready to start the build. First, make your way to where you want the input of your machine to be. I'll start it right here. Then dig two blocks down and one in front of you. Place a chest like that and jump and place a hopper going into that chest, just like that. Now, we want to set up the hopper minecart. So place a rail on this hopper, and then the hopper minecart right there. Now dig out two blocks to the side, break that rail right there, you can kind of see it, and then you want to place a piston like that. Actually, we are going to need to break one more block, and get any sort of block, you want to put it right there. This is going to squish the hopper minecart into a solid block. So you need to make sure there is a block right here to stop it from sliding away. And now we can just power this piston. And there we go. The hopper minecart is now concealed. Now I have given myself a little bit of space to work with. So you want to go right under this hopper and dig one block by your feet in front of you. This will lead to your dispenser. So you can place two hoppers aiming at that point and then you want to place a temporary block right here and put the hopper below this one going into there. Now you can remove that and place more blocks right here going out to three and take your comparator Place it like this so that it's getting information from this hopper. And then you are going to want your two redstone dust like that. I'm going to give myself a little bit more space here. And you can place another one like that. So three in total. And then under 
underneath this block right here, you can place a repeater going away so that the line is by this redstone dust over there. Now place a block right there and underneath this block so it'll be pretty hidden um, you want to place a redstone torch just like that and now our item filter is fully constructed. Now I've dug out even more space over here and at the end of this hopper line you want to place one dispenser looking up so you can place it like that just so the hole is in the top that will send your item back up. Now to build the system that detects when the dispenser is full and then fires it you want to place a comparator like that so that it's taking the output from the dispenser. Then place one redstone dust right there and one redstone repeater and then you want to place dust like this so that it is connecting to the comparator and this block over here where we do have to place a block just like that. Now the dispenser will fire but in order to get the item up to the surface we need to completely fill in this area with blocks. So you want one block on the outside of the dispenser so it is a full tower going up to the surface. This will push the item uh, all the way to the top. So you want the area above the dispenser to be full blocks and you want it to look like this so that the item can't squeeze out. It's like a cross. Now all we have to do is configure the um, item filter so that it uses your specific key. So I would recommend using an anvil to name the item because then only an item with that specific name will work in the system. So you can take an anvil and then grab any item. It can be anything as long as it isn't something like a sword or, uh, that cannot stack. So then you can name it something like that. And this is just your filler item. Once again, can be anything. Um, and yeah, the reason you need so many keys is that this sorting system takes 41. You have to have 41 keys in there to start and then one below. So we can drop two off, put 41 right there and then put our four filler items just like that so that this key is in the left slot. Now our sorting system is all ready. So you can see if we take our uh, special key item right here and throw it over there, first of all, it won't do anything. That is because that item is stuck in this hopper. You can take this item back out but it's pretty much, you can't change it, it will get stuck there. So that's a bit of a downside, but hopefully you have enough keys that you can have 43. And then this one, if we throw it in, will come up and be dispensed right there. It went back through the system, but there we have our key once again. And you can see if we throw any other item like some sandstone or an anvil, um, nothing happened. And we can mine this block right here, look at our chest, and there they all are. Now you can simply cover up all of this area, and your machine is completely ready. Once again, um, you can take an output from here, uh, so that you can activate something when you throw in the key. But that is pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving a like or subscribing if you want to see more. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!